Thank you, last time, Carla. Minister, why are you getting it wrong all the time? And as a person myself from a business background, and I've been self-employed most of my life, actually nearly all my life, um, and I would have education of life and I would have education of business because I'm in business. Why is your cabinet getting it wrong all the time? So you like percentage models, and if you looked at your cabinet as it sits today, how many of the cabinet are business people? How many of the cabinet come from a farming sector? How many of the, farm, how many of the cabinet come from a community sector? Where they've been involved in their communities. But when you break it down and you look at, at a budget, it just explains to me why you're getting it wrong all the time, because even on the business factor, because you don't have the proper people on cabinet that reflect the whole country. Whether it's an international business, down to SMEs. All you seem to do is look at the figures, and if something doesn't make up the proper figures, they don't take into the account what it means in a community. It's not all about profit, it's about giving amenities within a community. So when we look at, at the protests yesterday, and we see all the business owners around Ireland, whether they're from the restaurants, the pub sector, the hairdressers, the coffee shops, the shops, and we see them here, and they're telling us, you're crippling us, because, and we'll take the wage increase, two of them, which I welcomed. Then they said, that's one thing, where do we go? We have a margin to put on, so we have to increase our cost. So the, then they said, we have an insurance cost, we have a rate cost, increased rate cost, we have an increase in the cost of our produce, we have an increase in the cost of energy, and then the government come on and pull back up the VAT 4.5%. So any business person would tell you, that's about a 10 to 12% increase of, of money that you've got to get to make your business viable. Now an international business can sustain that because they have millions and billions of turnover. But when you're going to a local business and if they had a million euro turnover and you take that into account, it's crippling them. It's actually crippling them. So the same wage increase that you've given You've actually taken it back, because when the same person goes back into the shop, the people had to put up the prices across all the different sectors and give it back. But the PRSI contribution then comes back to government. If a person in this country wanted to buy their first house or build their first house, 36% of their mortgage is tax. 13.5% of the cost of buying a new home is tax. So I'm after being hammered if I work to get a mortgage in tax. I mean, hammered if I have to go out and support the local community in, in the food industry or coffee industry in tax. And if I want to build my own home, I'm being hammered in tax. Why are you getting it wrong? Because you have no proper business people on your cabinet that understand the real business in Ireland. That means protecting jobs, protecting communities, and protecting people. This is where your failure is. The cabinet needs to change. It does not reflect this country. It does not reflect small business in this country, and it needs to change. Thank you.